Hey everyone, it's Marie, and today I received the September Unplugged Adult Box. It's a big one this month, um, which I guess is to be expected because apparently September is the Unplugged Anniversary, so this is the Anniversary Box. I think it's their fourth year, um, but their first year for me, so I'm excited to open it, which I say every month, but again, it's always true. Um, I can't remember what's in this box. I can't remember what the book uh, genre or theme is. I can't remember any of the items that were hinted at. It's just one big box of mystery <laughs> for me right now, but that just makes it more fun. So let's open it up and see what we've got. Ooh. All right. Okay. So, this is the Light in the Dark Unplugged 4th Anniversary Box, and this month's recipe is Twice Roasted Hot Sweet Potatoes, um, which I won't be cooking because I don't like sweet potatoes. I know apparently that makes me some kind of alien, but they taste like pumpkin, and pumpkin is gross, so won't be eating those. So, I'm... There's, I'm already excited about what I can see. <laughs> Alright, I don't know where to start. Let's start with this thing. Um, it's a little box. Nothing on it. So. It's a... Oh, what is it? This is a candle? Essence of Wrath Fillery Life is Risk I'll just show you this I think it might be a candle It's also got a Engraving on the top Which is quite cool It is a candle It's just white Nothing fancy it doesn't really have a smell, at least not one that I can smell. <laughs> okay, hang on, let me refer to the spoiler sheet. Um, the first item, which is great. The Magician's Candle, so, which I suppose is based on the series, it's a book series and a TV series, haven't watched it. Um, Yes. Welcome to Fillory from Lev Grossman's The Magicians. It's not as fun and cozy as you might think, but if you find the light, you may have better luck. Okay, this is a new candle line that will be featured in the next several boxes. Once you burn your candle, use the jar in your home or to plant succulents. Great. Um, it's an unplugged exclusive from Bath Apothecary, designed by at tpickle.ghost. So that's cool. Um, I do remember reading something about this actually, that in the adult boxes they're going to have a new line of candles, um, which this is the first one of, and they're all going to have these really nice little pots, I suppose, that you can collect and keep once the candle is burnt out. Um, I, I do like the idea, I really like the candle pot that it's in, <laughs> but again, it doesn't really have a smell. Which is a little disappointing, because um, I like my candles to smell like something. And this one doesn't have anything on it to indicate what it might smell like. If it has a smell at all. But, um, it's still really nice. If it doesn't have a smell, I probably won't burn it. Um, but it's nice to keep anyway. So, I'll definitely have that displayed somewhere. It's great that it's a series too, because... You know, once I get more, it'll be a nice little set on my shelf. Now, there's something very exciting in here that I'm... Oh my gosh, okay. So this looks like some kind of craft item. Get my scissors out. Okay. So... This is... Oh my gosh, it's huge! Alright. 
let me have a look at this. It's a diamond painting, which is quite cool. I can't really see what the design is, unless it's a, is that a, oh, okay, cool. Okay, um, so I'm not sure how much of that you can see, but it's a diamond painting which I've never done before, but I have done other crafts. Um, so it's come with a little diamond poker thingy, <laughs> I suppose, you know, applicator, and all of the little colours that you need, which is really fun. Um, I don't know if it's based on anything. It just says it's a library scene. It's designed by at Veronica Lex GM and it features Easter eggs from beloved fandoms so that's quite cool um, and I can already see one this shield sword and shield combo here um, is from Alana the lioness the total universe by Tamara Pierce so that's really cool um, this is really exciting I'm looking forward to this a lot um, I've never done a diamond painting before as I said, but I have done uh, crochet and cross stitch and embroidery, which are not the same. I think cross stitch is probably the closest, but um, this is really exciting. I, I don't really um, know how it works yet. I know you have to um, match the letters on the pattern to the correct colour of diamond, but I don't really know how they apply or anything like that. But I'm eager to learn and I love doing a craft while I listen to a podcast, so this will be a good one to get stuck into. I'm very excited about them including more crafts in the future because I'm just a crafty person. They're a good way to pass the time. Okay, let's see what else we got. Okay, so a little bottle from Fiction Bath Co. Sleepy Hollow. Black Amber Pralines and Caramel Body Lotion. So I have a, another one of their hand cream body lotions, uh, which I got, I think... It might have been in a mystery box, or it might have been in one of the regular boxes, I can't remember. But um, it, it's just, it smells so good that I bought a second one in a sale because I don't want to run out. <laughs> so it's good to have this one. Um, oh. It smells like pralines and caramel. It's quite sweet but not overly so. Mm, it smells delicious. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It smells good enough to eat, but I'm not going to because you shouldn't eat hand creams. <laughs> but that's great. I love their hand cream. So really happy to have another one. Now we've got this. A little bag of something. Uh, oh, it's in the shape of a skull. That's really cool. I don't know if you can see that. But it has got a, sh a skull shape. It's a shower steamer. So that's quite cool. I can smell it through the the thing. Um, I, th I think this is probably the smell that I could smell coming out of the box when I sort of undid the tape. There's been a, a lovely smell coming out since, uh, since I've had the box unsealed and I think this might be it. So that's really cool. I don't really use shower steamers or bath bombs but I think I'm going to have to start because that would be quite nice to have. 
I like that it's shaped like a skull as well. That's really cool. <laughs> Getting down to the business end. We've only got one item left. Plus the book. So. The last item is the next teacup in the series. This is the third of four teacups that the adult boxes have been doing this year. And it is a Dracula teacup, according to the box, which is great, because I read Dracula early this year, uh, and I loved it. I listened to the audiobook, and then I bought a physical copy. And yeah, it's just a great book. Loved it. So, the fact that I now get a teacup is even more exciting. Now, this is once again designed by a Ukrainian artist at cute underscore you that's m-i-u-u -U. so check them out because the teacup art has been really nice so far this is the saucer very sweet I think that's probably Mina Harker in the center there um, and it says, there are darknesses in life and there are lights and you are one of the lights, which is very sweet. And the teacup, oh yes, that's really cool. I love that. Okay, I'll see how much of this I can show you. It's very, um, very cute. Love the colors. And then Dracula is here on the end. What a great cup. What a great set. I love the teacups. They've been really fun this year. And now the last thing is the book. So we've got a signature sticker. Uh, and I'm going to assume it's called The Last Housewife. But I can't read the name. I think it's Ashley Winstead. I think. Okay, so also have this little card with a note on the back from the author. Um, okay, so it says, The Last Housewife is the story I am most proud of writing. A twisty nail-biting descent into the dark underworld of modern cults inspired by the real-life NX, IVM, and Sarah Lawrence cults. A year ago, I became transfixed by the stories of women recounting their time in these groups. Not only what they agreed to do, the rituals they'd participated in, the beliefs they'd swallowed, but the ways in which they had been lured in in the first place, and in some cases managed to break free, escaping the prisons of their own minds. Reading and watching these stories, I wondered, how could this happen? What made so many women, it is so often women, sign over their power and autonomy to mostly male cult leaders. What about, these kind of, what about this kind of submission is so attractive to us humans and our women, even 21st century women, particularly at risk, conditioned by society to seek or allow it? These are the questions I wanted that last housewife to start with. It opens with a smart, strong woman named Shay, who once caught herself out of a very dark place and must now consider going back in for the sake of a friend. It's a story about the dual power and price of beauty, the seductive allure of exercising power over others, and the allure of handing over your power. What it means to be a friend to someone who you can feel slipping away, what it means to be a victim, confronting our dark sides, and perhaps most surprisingly, given all of that, what real true love looks like. For me, writing The Last Housewife was a primal scream and an act of stubborn defiance. I hope it fascinates you, makes you feel seen, and most of all is hard to put down. Happy reading, Ashley Winstead. So there you go. Uh, it's a book about cults, which is cool. Um, I know something about cults. I don't know anything about the cults that Ashley has went mentioned on this card. Um, but I know about some others, um, just because I have an interest in true crime. But this is interesting. Okay, so 
So it's a hardcover, which is cool. Don't get many of those. Here it is. The Last Housewife by Ashley Winstead. I really like this cover, actually. I like how minimal it is. And the threading of the needle at the top there. Very cool. Um, so the blurb says, While in college in New York, Shay Evans and her best friends met a captivating man who seduced them into a web of lies about the way the world works, bringing them under his thrall. By senior year, Shay and her friend Laurel were the only ones who managed to escape. Now, eight years later, Shay has built a new life in a Tony, Texas suburb. But when she hears the horrifying news of Laurel's death, delivered of always by her favourite true crime podcast, Crusader, she begins to suspect that the past she thought she buried is still very much alive, and the predator's more dangerous than ever. Recruiting the help of the podcast host, Shay goes back to the place she vowed never to return to in search of answers. As she follows the thread of her friend's life, she's pulled into a dark, seductive world where wealth and privilege shield brutal philosophies that feel all too familiar. When Shay's obsession with uncovering the truth becomes so consuming that she can no longer separate her desire for justice from dark desires newly reawakened, she must control the depths of her own complicity and conditioning. But in a world built for men to rule it, both inside the cult and outside of it, is justice even possible? And if so, how far will Shay go to get it? Um, so that's really cool. I like the sound of this a lot. Um, it's, uh, it's a bit, it's sort of in the vein of a couple of the last few adult books that we've had in the boxes. We had, um, Woman in the Library, which was sort of a murder mystery thriller type. And then we had, um, last month, They Drown Our Daughters, which, uh, is sort of like a gothic horror or a modern take on a gothic horror. And now we've got this one, which is about cults. But this one sounds like the most interesting to me of the three. Um, and I'm definitely keen to try this one. I've never heard of Ashley Winstead. Um, it says on the back that she's also written a book called In My Dreams, I Hold a Knife. Which is um, <laughs> interesting. So hopefully this one is as good as it sounds. Could be quite a good exploration of um, power and how we lose it and give it away um, and as it does sound like a study of women in society as well which is always great to see so hopefully this is um, gonna be a good one that brings us to the end of the box this was a really good one um, I mean they're all pretty good but this one has a lot of things in it that really personally interest me um, the the teacup of course and the diamond painting sounds like it's gonna be a lot of fun i'm really looking forward to doing that and of course this great new hand cream so all in all a great a great box um i did have to wait a while for it to come but now i'm really glad that it's here so i hope you enjoyed unboxing this with me thank you for watching wherever you are i hope you're doing well and i will see you next time bye